together to fix it for you. So it's not exactly from scratch. Uh, I'll show you the fail, what didn't work, I'll give you an explanation as to why, and uh, I'll get to how I ended up coming up with my final product as well. Okay, so the original idea included a couple of different bowls, some rocks, and this can of a gel that you can light on fire, also some concrete. Okay, so here is the idea of just mixing up some concrete to fill and make a cement bowl. Now, this bowl was greased up, but I'm pretty sure that was my biggest problem. It needed to be greased up even more. And I even greased up the second bowl, and I've seen people do this online. It slips out, but mine uh, didn't exactly. So you, the idea here is you have two bowls, you place one inside the other that's the form for where the can's going to sit I shook out all of the bubbles let it rest overnight and um, I tried to get this out with like a hammer and stuff but like this won't even come out anyway so this is just like a big oh my god so heavy it's just a big old waste um, it's super heavy don't know what I'm gonna do with this waste of time but I've got a new idea on how to fix, how to still make one. Back to the drawing board. Uh, I went out and I just did some shopping and I picked up this piece. So no, I did not make this. Uh, I would love to say that I did, but uh, it actually was damaged. So I ended up getting it for like $7. It's so still pretty cheap. You could do this with a flower pot or a large bowl. Um, but now, because we don't have that little form for the for the uh, jar to sit in, I had to actually make one. And what I used were two uh, pop cans. So you need something that's metal because that can does get really hot and uh, you don't want it to be like paper or something flammable. Uh, what I ended up doing is put, piecing these two cans together, just cutting off the tops and the bottoms. So be very careful with that. They, um, the uh, tin or the aluminum is uh, really sharp when you cut it. But I take those two pieces together just to kind of create this form for the can. Um, now the can would have sunk really low, so I'm feeling the pot with some extra concrete because I got so much of it laying around. Um, you could use sand, you could also use some small gravel for this. Once I got it to the level where I wanted it, I then put the form inside and basically all this form is doing is just making it so that you can replace the can really easily because now I'm going back and I'm filling in all of the uh, three corners there with more sand and also some stone. Um, so yeah, once I got it a little bit fuller, I added the finishing stones. These were originally bought for the first DIY. They're a little large for this, I would probably get smaller gravel but that's pretty much all there is to it and then you can light it up and have yourself a little mini fire version, which is a little less DIY, maybe a little bit easier as well. Uh, regardless, let me know whether or not you liked this DIY. You can give me a like. Uh, if you try it for yourself, please send some photos of what it looks like. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Janelle Steeper. And just don't forget to tag me in those photos so I can see what it looks like. And don't forget to subscribe. I will be back next Wednesday with a new video, as I always am. Hence why I had to scrounge this one together, just to make sure I had a video for you this week. Okay? Cheers, I'll talk to you next week.